Two students were hit by gunfire after a classmate brought a gun to their school in Maryland today. It's a story we've become much too familiar with. So what can be done? Tonight, San Francisco's police chief talks about gun violence prevention. Nightbeat's Andrea Borba has the story. In a conference room beneath Grace Cathedral, a first of its kind forum. There might be an active shooter in the school. Faith leaders joining forces with groups like the Brady Campaign to talk about gun violence. As a way of finding a faithful response to the, um, the dreadful loss of life and the devastation that we see our current gun culture. Plans about this form began before the shooting that killed 17 students in Parkland, Florida, but gained new urgency and purpose as those students who watched their friends die took the reins of the gun control conversation in the U.S. These teenagers are really amazing. They're so brave and articulate, and they're really driving a wake-up call to both adults and our congressional representatives. You know, they're, they're calling it out. We've had enough, and they're demanding legislation. They're really directing their anger into action and asking for very specific legislation. Maddie Scott lost her son nearly 22 years ago to a shooting in San Francisco and has made it her life's work to educate folks on gun violence and says it breaks her heart to see the same tragedies play out over and over again. Here we are, 17 lives, 17 families affected because nobody paid attention. You know, when are we going to wake up? to this and pay attention. It's ridiculous. Among the participants, SFPD Chief Bill Scott, who says while the shootings in Parkland, Las Vegas, and Sandy Hook grab shock and grab headlines, the real trauma is from gun violence that isn't as attention grabbing. These issues happen daily. I mean, on a much smaller scale, but the toll is enormous on our society and on our cities. Scott says while California does have among the strictest gun laws in the nation, it all comes down to this. Laws are only as good as people willing to abide by them. On the Night Beat in San Francisco, I'm Andrea Borba.